Well, welcome back to Uncle Keith's Paint Shop. And this is a Copart special <laughs> Uncle Keith's Paint Shop video. Team in here. Come on then, let's see. What are we doing to this one? Full repaint. For, it, uh, for sure. I think it needs it. Uh, yeah, it's had a... Obviously, it's... Copart car, so obviously damaged. Customers bought some parts, obviously repaired it, got obviously things changed, blah, blah, blah. Obviously bumpers, front ends are wrong colour. There's still some damage on the vehicle. Like for example, some damage on the pillar, bit on the roof, other pillar, on the other side. It's got, pretty much got scratches all the way round. Uh, so a lot of scratches on the vehicle. Uh, we're just mandating to put it back to the original colour and repair any damage. Yeah, there's a bit, there's a bit of damage, isn't there? Yeah, a few bits in and around, but nothing too major as far as I'm concerned. Original colour, that's what it's going, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yep, got your work cut out there, Keith. There's a bit of water in there, mate. It's nearly goldfish. Yeah. It's like the... It's how they are, man. Brilliant. Well, uh, get cracking. V8. Okay, so in the oven, and as you can see, this lovely Audi R8 is beginning to be prepped up for some paint. Keith's busy in the workshop. Looks like he's doing a bonnet. So hopefully, we'll get some get some colour on on this at some point. And we'll come back and we'll have a look. What a car. Update on the Audi R8. And as you can see, things are prepped and ready. Now, these are the bits that are obviously removed from the vehicle. And the vehicle work is ongoing. So next step, we shall see some colour go on to these bits. That's one big bonnet, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll see some uh, we'll see some colour go on to these, and then we'll check back in with our Keith. But the uh, yes, the car is still thoroughly being worked upon as we speak. Well, would you look at that? That's a gorgeous colour, Keith. I think grey is the bomb. Yeah. yeah. And it's his original colour and he's not trying to... Uh, is I it the same colour as the RS5? Yeah. Got, yeah. I think you'd devalue it, wouldn't you, if you did it anything else? I think it looks extremely James Bond. It looks quite Porsche looking, doesn't it? Mmm. With, with no other bits added to it. Yeah, it looks lovely. It certainly lo looks a damn sight better than it did, doesn't it, my yeah. friend? Yeah, we've just got... Bit to paint now. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot of kit outside still. I don't think that goes there, mate. Is that how they are? Man? Is that how they are? Right. I've only got one on them. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I can't wait to see it all built up. So, yeah, there's a lot missing off it still, isn't there? Yeah, you've got bits. Yeah, there's all little, panel, little plastic panels and bits, and then there's the panels that go in there that go different colour, there's, there's loads, absolutely loads to do, yeah. But at least the car's done, so. We are a week into this though, aren't we, yeah. at least, so. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Oh, do you like that, Jeddo? Yeah. I feel yeah. like once you get to this point, it's, you start getting a bit of. Momentum. Like you're getting somewhere. Because like you say, we're a week in, but up until yesterday, I haven't painted anything. Yeah. And then it only took the afternoon to paint, because a lot of people think, oh, well, you, just, you just put some paint on it, but. No, a lot of it's, it's preparation. To get, it took a week to get it to this point. Yeah. It's absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so we shall see it when it's bit, when, when it's a built up a bit, I suppose. I suppose this is coming out so that you can put a load of stuff in here to paint. Because there's a lot out there. Yeah, look, the size of that bonnet, that's like... Yeah, I did the, touch... That, that's the whole front end of the car, isn't I it? Did, I did touch on the fact that the bonnet was absolutely yeah, yeah. humongous. And we've got to do it inside and out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big old bit of kit, isn't it? It's about the size of a. Well, it's about the size of my Leon. And there's, there's bumpers, silk skirts, and then there's um, three million bits of plastic. Look. 
plastic, plastic, plastic. Yeah, plastic, you've, plastic, you've plastic. had to do a bit of repair on some of them as yeah. well. Well, but, uh, okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, well, we'll be back when this. Oh, it's in another week. Yeah, another week's time. <laughs> <laughs> People watching at home can't understand, because you know the video's only like 10 minutes long, they can't understand the time yeah. that's gone into it. But excellent. Okay, well, I'm going to zoom in on that clock because it's 10 past 8. Well, that's one painted bonnet for the Audi R8. What's next for it, Keith? Uh, stick some lacquer on it. Bit of lacquer. Uh, I'll do the inside, but I'll do that. I've got to do the painted inside and outside all That's way. massive. Yeah. We'll put a cap on the outside, then we'll just do one on the inside, one second <coughs> one on the outside. So okay. Look at the size of the thing. Hey, Keith, hey, hey, look at the size of it. It's a big one, isn't it? It is a big one. Shame it ain't mine. Well, yeah, I'd quite like an Audi R8. <laughs> or, or a big one. Or a big one, yeah. I've already got a tiny one. Ready? Yeah. I'm not sure. Delightful, look at that. Beauty! Well, back in the booth. Like that. <laughs> Uncle Keith has got some grey in the gun. Yeah, as you can see, these are, we've done the car, the bonnet, the bumpers, and these are all the other plastic bits and sills and mirrors and. There's a lot of it. Trims and bits and bobs, yeah. That, that you don't think about, but these are all the extra bits. Yeah, that's a lot. That make up the car. All these bits are bigger than a Colt. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hit it. I know, yeah. And I... Look at that, it's like magic. 
eight parking sensors. I'd like a job painting them. Yeah. Look. How do they work through paint? They went up to a certain thickness. Uh, we took we took the paint back off, so sorry. You asked me questions now. I know, oh, yeah, that's my fault. I want to see you do these. Oh, uh, they're difficult. Are they? Yeah. Ugh, that should be bad. Hi, right, painting a pair of Audi testicles. Oh, so they're not just the Audi owner's testicles that you painted. Right, I'll come back and see you in a bit. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Well, that looks absolutely fantastic. I've just taken a moment to take it all in. Absolutely brilliant. Considering this car turned up in how many pieces, Richard? A few quite a few and missing some bits and bobs as well it's been it's been a task hasn't it Richard yeah I think the way I've described this car is it was obviously bought as a salvage vehicle and then parts have been bought that he sees as yep yeah, I need those parts I need a bonnet I need a bumper I need lights I need this I need that I need to do that it sort of got I think as far as he could get with it um, and then sort of said well now I need to get paintwork done so he sort of Almost like test fitted things, but not obviously final fitment. Uh, so we went and picked the car up. Uh, our mandate was to obviously paint it. And then as it's sort of come about, we've been asked to put it back together. As in completely put it back together. So all the under trays, trays, obviously bumpers on fit, headlights, all the rest of it. There are a few little details that just need finishing off that customer hadn't quite got parts for. Um, but essentially it is now all one vehicle. It looks stunning, buddy. Yeah, I'm really proud of that as a team. Keith's paintwork is sublime as per usual. It's such a good colour as well, I think. Yeah, it really suits the car. Here's the, the man himself. Car park there, mate. No, it's, abs it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, what a, uh, what a colour. B8. What do you reckon, Keith? You happy with it? Nice, isn't it? It's very nice. It's very nice indeed. I think he's going to be absolutely made up. I believe it was a birthday present to himself. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Shall we have it outside and, and see if we get some natural light on it? I think so. Let's have a look. Stunning. Can we get this thing out of the way? It's ruining my video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. Oh yeah, hello. Oh, it's a bit windy. I wanted some sunshine, I seem to have... Uh... I know, yeah, I can see the clouds, man. Oh, yes. Well, there we go. Another one done. Uncle Keith's paint shop by the man himself. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. If you do need any paint work, whether it's a full respray, a bonnet touch-up, or whether you're wanting a liquid wrap, you know where to come. You need touching up. If you need touch it, it's a good joke and we'll keep using it. If you need touching up, come and see Uncle Keith.